This thing is so complicated. It's just a car. According to Tesla, Tesla cars are developed with the highest standards of safety in every aspect, including security. Now, I'm not saying I didn't believe them, but I did want to find out for myself. So I did a little digging, and when I tell you that it's impossible to steal a Tesla, you better believe me because I'm about to tell you why. Stay tuned. A real life scenario. I stumbled upon some unlucky car thieves who tried to do the impossible. All the way in Australia, two thieves stole Annabelle's Tesla. Unfortunately for them, before they could even finish their break-in, her Tesla app had already alerted her. As soon as she found out that her car was in motion, she followed the GPS locator with her friend and alerted the police. These particular car thieves left me stunned because what happened next couldn't have been predicted by anyone. Not only did they abandon the car when Annabelle found them, but they left their toolbox and one of their driver's licenses in her car. For all her bravery and, of course, Tesla's features, Annabelle was able to recover her car, and the thieves were apprehended soon after the incident. Annabelle's app is just one of the cool security features that comes with the Tesla. Let's take a look at the rest of the Tesla security features, how they work, and how they make it impossible for thieves to steal a Tesla. What all security features are there in a Tesla? The first security feature is a good old tried and tested security alarm. The Tesla alarm will sound and external lights will flash if a locked door is open without a valid key. If you're like me, you're probably wondering what's so special about the Tesla security alarm. Well, it seems to work just like other security alarms, except for the fact that the settings can be adjusted to enable the alarm one minute after all passengers exit, the doors are locked, and a recognized key is no longer detected by the car. One more fun fact is that it can be stopped using the key fob, key card, or the Tesla Tesla app. Looks like that app is very handy. Then there is the cabin camera. Every Tesla model produced in 2021 or later has one. The camera is located above the rear view mirror. It is equipped with Tesla's vision software, and it is mainly there to determine driver inattentiveness and provide audible alerts to remind the driver to keep their eyes on the road when autopilot is engaged. However, it has a security benefit as well. It can record everything that is happening inside your car and relay it to your app if you have enabled data sharing. Unfortunately, it is not yet smart enough to recognize a car thief and automatically call the police for you, but it is a great tool to aid with their investigation if your car was indeed stolen. The next security feature is the pin to drive feature. As the name suggests, it means that Tesla owners can set four digit verification codes that must be entered before the car is driven. Could it be zero, zero, zero? Talk about extra security, but at least it's a four digit pin and not a long password because I know I would forget mine. Speaking of, if you forget your pin or want to disable pin to drive, simply go back to the setting on the touchscreen, tap the link to enter your Tesla login credentials and follow the on-screen prompts. This is a cool feature, but I'm not sure how many people would have actually activated this feature on their Teslas. But in any case, pin to drive seems like the feature that would have stopped Annabelle's car thieves before they got any further. The next feature is by far the most recognizable Tesla security feature, Sentry Mode. Sentry Mode monitors any suspicious activities around a Tesla when it's parked and locked in certain locations. When this feature detects suspicious motion, it reacts depending on the severity of the threat. If the threat detected is significant, the cameras begin to record and the alarm system is activated. On top of that, the Tesla app receives an alert about the incident that occurred. This feature can be enabled in the settings and on the Tesla app like all the others. But unlike the others, it can also be enabled via voice command. The upside is that that unless the vehicle is at a supercharger, sentry mode will remain active until it is at or below 20% battery. And like everything else that happens to a Tesla, the Tesla app sends a notification if sentry mode is disabled due to a low battery. Apart from that, sentry mode will also not record if the dash cam is not properly installed and equipped with a USB drive. The latest Tesla models have added a live camera option with this feature. This allows for the car's surroundings to be viewed remotely to confirm it if it's safe to return to it. Through the Tesla app, the car can honk, flash, and allow the driver to talk through the speakers if the need arises. As helpful as sentry mode is, Tesla has always made it clear that it is designed to add another layer of protection to the car, but it will not prevent a thief from breaking into your car. But they gotta be really stupid to do that with all the information that's been collected on them while they're breaking into the car. Another security feature is the require manual entry feature. Because all Tesla cars have the option to automatically unlock when approached with a key, by disabling that feature, the Tesla will require a key for entry, making it harder for those who may have ill 
ill intentions. The final Tesla security feature is the intrusion sensors feature. While the standard security system comes fitted on every Tesla, the enhanced anti-theft system provides an additional layer of protection against certain break-in scenarios for the Model S or Model X. This system adds intrusion sensors inside the rearview mirror and is available on the Tesla online store as an accessory. When the sensor is used, it will intermittently pulse ultrasonic waves throughout the cabin. It will trigger the alarm if the signal is disturbed by either an intrusion or significant movement within the car. With all these layers, you really have to admire Tesla's commitment to securing their clients' cars. Because if there's one thing we do know about car thieves is that they get spooked quite easily by alarms or other strange security features, and the Teslas have got those in spades. Steps to start the car but let's imagine for a second that our thief has actually managed to get past all those layers of security. What then? If you thought that he or she would catch a break from Tesla, then you thought wrong. Starting a Tesla has to be a secret security measure in itself because the required steps are unique to their cars. With the Tesla Model S, the instrument panel and touchscreen power on as it is open so you can operate all controls. To shift, press the brake pedal and swipe up for drive or down for reverse on the touchscreen's drive mode strip. If auto shift out of park is enabled, the car automatically selects drive or reverse based on inputs from various sensors. If pin to drive is enabled, a valid pin must be entered on the touchscreen before you can drive it. After all of that is done, you still need to know where to place your keycard for your Tesla to finally start moving. Now that's a complicated system to start a car. Because of all these heaps of features, in the US it is estimated that the Tesla Model S and Model X are nearly 90% less likely to be stolen. Probably because Tesla has made it an impossible task. More good news is that from 2011 to 2018, out of 115 tracked Tesla thefts, 112 were recovered thanks to the extensive security system and GPS facilities. Every time a car was stolen, Tesla owners have just been able to point the police to the thief's location using their app, just as Annabelle did in the story I shared earlier in the video. I think that is any car thief's worst nightmare, to be caught because the car they stole told on them. This is all great for Tesla and Tesla owners, and I will be the first to admit that the stolen Tesla recovery rate is a glorious example of the proof is in the pudding. And just that they might know what they are doing over there at Tesla. However, even with all those security measures in place, is it really impossible to steal a Tesla? Are there any chinks in the armor? Now, before you rush out to order your own Tesla, or if you are still daydreaming about one, there is a particular vulnerability about the car that you might need to be aware of. This chink in Tesla's armor was identified by a Manchester-based cybersecurity company called the NCC Group. The cybersecurity company conducted rigorous tests on Tesla vehicles. Their results showed that the Model 3 and Model Y vehicles are at risk from a vulnerability in their Bluetooth-powered technology, which can allow thieves to unlock a Tesla from up to 25 meters away. Right now, the car is locked, the phone is far away at the opposite end of the office, and my relay is not active. So I try unlocking the car, see it doesn't let me. However, once I start the relay, and it just takes a moment to uh, get going, now I can approach the car, and it lets me unlock it. And not only this, with the same attack, I can now start the car and drive it away. This is a major concern because Teslas are only supposed to unlock if the owner's mobile phone is within one meter of the vehicle. But a radio tool can capture the Bluetooth Low Energy or BLE signal from an owner's phone and rebroadcast it to their car, giving the illusion that the owner is close by. Well, Tesla, it looks like you have some homework. So the answer to the question, is it impossible to steal a Tesla, is no. But it is pretty damn hard to get away with stealing one, that's for sure. To get this reputation as a car that is impossible to steal, security is clearly one area that Tesla can't afford to not act on because that is part of their appeal. If I were them, I'd gather the best hackers to figure out all existing vulnerabilities and then come up with countermeasures for each of the identified vulnerabilities. What about you? What do you think? Are Tesla's security features as good as they are made out to be? And should we now start referring to stealing a Tesla as mission impossible? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button and continue watching by clicking on one of the cards on your screen. See you at the next one.